girls. So I'm doing kind of a fun video today and it is a Thanksgiving inspired makeup look. And as you can see, I'm wearing it right now and I really just went with colors that reminded me of Thanksgiving, which are gold and orange and brown. And I like how it came out. So yeah, anyway, I guess that's about it. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started. The first thing that I'm gonna use for this tutorial is the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Greed, and this is a little sample size of it. Looks like this. And um, instead of the clear version of the Primer Potion, this is kind of like a gold color. So I thought this would be kind of fun for this look. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply it to my lid. and then blend it out. And this is just going to be a nice base for our eyeshadows while also giving kind of a nice shimmer and sheen to the look. The next thing that I'm going to do is take this Mary Kay little quad and it's just a sample size of some of their eyeshadows and I'm going to take the one in Honey Spice which looks like this. And I'm going to go ahead and apply it all over my lid. And the next thing that I'm going to do is kind of the more fun and a little bit messy part of this tutorial. And I'm going to be using a pigment, and this is from Coastal Scents, and it's called Mayan Gold. Hopefully you can see the color. It's just this really pretty glittery gold color, and I think it's perfect for Thanksgiving. So all I'm going to do is just take my brush and just dip it right in, and then tap off any of the excess pigment. And then I'm going to go ahead and just apply it directly to my eyelid over top of the Mary Kay eyeshadow. I'm also going to run this up above my lids just a little bit. Okay, and the next thing that I'm going to do is take a matte brown eyeshadow, like this. It's very light, and I'm going to run this through my crease, and this color is just going to kind of help the other colors blend together a little bit better, so that's really all that it's um, going to do. It's a very light color. I love actually wearing this um, as an everyday like lid color when I feel like going more neutral. I'm just going to go ahead and run this through my crease, just so everything will blend a little more nicely. And then next, I'm going to take this darker, more chocolatey brown color, right here. And I'm going to run that through my crease as well. Just to darken things up just a little bit more. And then I'm going to go ahead and just blend that out just a little bit so the edges aren't rough or anything like that. And next I'm going to take the orange color from the same quad that the crease color was in. And I'm just going to go ahead and run this underneath my lash line for a pop of color. And I think this is fun for Thanksgiving as well because these are really the main colors that I think of when I think of Thanksgiving, you know, 
of fall and the turkey and pilgrims and just everything like that. I always think of orange and gold and brown. So these all go together quite nicely. The next thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is take this matte um, white cream color and I'm going to apply this to my brow bone for a highlight. Corner highlight. I'm going to go a bit more shimmery and I'm going to take this really light gold highlight color from the Coastal Scents 88 Shimmer Palette and I'm going to go ahead and just take my brush and apply it to my inner corner. The next thing that I'm going to do is take my Maybelline Line Stiletto Eyeliner and this is just in black and I'm going to apply just a kind of medium thick line to my upper lash line. So once I've gotten the line to a point where I'm fairly happy with it, I'm going to go ahead and smudge it out just a little bit because I think that the softer eyeliner looks really pretty with this look. So I'm just going to take this black color from my Coastal Scents palette again and I'm just going to dip my brush in it and just kind of lightly apply it over top of the eyeliner just to kind of smudge it out a little and give it a softer look. To finish off for eyeshadow, I'm going to take a tiny bit more of that Mayan Gold pigment and just apply it to my lid to brighten it up a little more. Last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and use mascara, and I'm going to be using my favorite mascara of all time, which is the Revlon Girl Luscious. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply it to my lashes. I'm actually going to be using a different mascara for my bottom lashes because I find that for some reason this tube of the Girl Luscious transfers on my bottom lash line and um, I didn't have that happen before but that one is the waterproof formula so ironically it transfers and the other one didn't so I think I'll be switching back with my next tube of it but anyway I'm going to be using my CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume and I'm just going to go ahead and put a quick coat on my bottom lash line or lashes, not lash line. Okay, and last but not least for this look, I am going to go ahead and apply a lipstick. And this one is from Rimmel, and it is in the color Berry Rose, which you probably won't be able to see with my camera because it's not going to focus. But um, this lipstick looks very scary in the tube and really pigmented, but it's actually this really pretty dark pink color and it's my favorite for fall. I'm just going to go ahead and pat this onto my lips. Alright, and that was it for the makeup look, so I hope you girls enjoyed this video, and um, leave me a comment below and tell me what your plans are for Thanksgiving or what you're thankful for, um, that'd be fun to hear from you guys, and hopefully um, you guys have a great Thanksgiving, okay? Talk to you soon.
Bye.